Hey guys, how's it going? My name is ASF Reviews, and right here in this box we have the HTC Desire 626. It is a $130 phone for the version available on Amazon. My version I couldn't find, and it was about $180 in stores. It has 8 gigabytes of storage, but only about 3 are useful. So let's go ahead and do a little mini unboxing here. Just plop it open. When you first open it, boom, you're going to see the phone. I'm pretty sure there's actually a covering on it, but I just re-put it into the box. So, pop it out. It's a pretty nice looking phone. I, I definitely like the look of it without the case, how it has that red ring and then the darker color. Depending on the model that you got, there is white and a blue version as well. And, I don't know, I really like this version of it. It has dual front facing speakers, so it's pretty good. Let's get on to some of the photo and video things. Okay, first up we're going to cover all of the camera features of this HTC phone. Okay, so right here we have our crop which you can change to square 1x1, one one, regular 4x3, so I'm going to show you regular 4x3 ratio. Oh, that is blinded by the... Okay, uh, you have square 1x1 one one, and that's just going to give you a basic square. Now this phone has as well makeup level, uh, here's your camera options themselves like auto smile capture, voice capture, tuck to capture, lock, or lock focus during recording. Now you can turn that off if you want it to have an auto focus. If you're, let's say you're trying to record videos with this thing. I don't recommend it, but if you're going to, then that is how you would do it. Let's go ahead and turn this crop, oop, not the makeup level. Let's go ahead and turn our crop back up to regular 16 by 9 and then go ahead and reopen camera settings. Here you can see our video quality right there. You have HD 1280 by 720p, which is regular HD, not full HD. Uh, then you have QVGA, which is very low quality. Then you have MMS, which is extremely low quality. So only use the HD 12, or, uh, 1280 by 720. We have our basic photos, and uh, I will put a example photo of the front and back facing cameras after the end of this clip segment. I forgot to mention you have a little panorama as well. You have a panorama feature which is a very very nice feature to have. Then we have the video camera. All you have to do to start a video is tap this little button right here and it's going to go ahead and start up a video. Now this will be the sample I will use I guess for the video uh, that I'll put at the end for the video quality. It is quite a grainy camera if I can focus here. Well, see all those grains now that the brightness went down a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty grainy camera, but it works if you are in really, really good lighting. Like, let's say you're outside. That is a very good, uh, it's going to give you a very good quality. Let's say you're inside in a slightly darker room. It's not going to be too good. Now, on to showing you the photo and video test. and it's going to go ahead and start up a video. Now this will be the sample I will use, I guess, for the video uh, that I'll put at the end for the video quality. It is quite a grainy camera. Okay, now we're going to go over all of the features of this pretty chill looking phone. First of all, it has a 5 inch display that goes at 720p and it has 8 megapixel photos and takes video in 720p. This phone also has 2GB 
of RAM. I'm not sure what type of RAM, how quick it is, but it has two gigabytes of RAM and a 2,000 milliamp battery. That is a pretty decent battery, and it should last you through your day. Just charge it every night or something before you go to bed. It also has a SIM card slot on the side here, which I'll show you in a second once I finish saying these. It also has a micro SD slot that can take up to 32 gigabytes. My version has eight internal gigabytes with three usable, and the more popular version has 16 gigabytes with 11 gigabytes of usable. Okay, on the side here, we have our little panel that we can open up, and there's our SIM and our SD. Now let's close it back up. Here we have our front-facing camera, which is a five megapixel image, our front spacing speaker, or our, for like phone calls, and then our, do our bottom front spacing speaker. We have our micro USB port. Here we have our power button and our two volume buttons, headphone jack, get wrecked at iPhone 7, and then our microphone, flash, and our eight megapixel back camera. Okay, that either way will be it for this review on the HTC Desire 626. But, either way, if you guys enjoyed that video, hit up that like button, leave a comment below if you have any questions about the phone, or any other information that you'd like to know, or if you'd just like a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Now we are going to go over some of the actual settings of the phone itself. So first of all, this phone right here has a 5 inch display. This oh, fine, and it was about 180 and has 8 gigabytes of story. Story, I meant storage, but only three or less gigabytes of useful. Usable, uh, I can't speak, I'm restarting this. On the side of the phone is where we have, oop, I knocked the camera. That's, that's, that's not, I'm removing that.